Hey guys, wanna do uh, a 200 hour review. So these are my Alpine Star Tech 10s, 200 hours on them. Uh, they're just over a year old. So we'll start with my left, my left side boot and all original equipment, 200 hours, nothing has broken. Um, the majority of the wear is right here where you're gripping the bike. I tend to grip my bike pretty, um, pretty good. So we tore a hole right through here. This point right here is probably my least favorite part of the boot right here. It's not, um, this right here is not very smooth. This is tearing up my graphics, like ride one. That's my biggest complaint about these boots. Other than that, I absolutely love them. I've been riding an Alpine Stars for a very long time, road and uh, off-road. But um, yeah, so looking pretty good as well for 200 hours. Not too many bad mutters, so that probably helps. Take a looking at taking a look. Excuse me at the bottom. It looks pretty good since this is my shifter side for 200 hours. The original sole, you can see right here, kind of wearing that down. You know from rocking from shifting all the time, but still in pretty good shape. Still have plenty of, you know, uh, grip on the, with the bike, but this one's probably due for replacement pretty soon. And I'm about to retire these boots. Um, I'll, I'll, these will be my backup set because uh, this one, not so much, but we'll move to my right hand side boot. So this guy, again, 200 hours, nothing broken. All good, everything works as it should. The sole much better on this guy. You still see it, you know, tapered down right here a little bit from the wear, from me riding on the balls of my feet. Um, but looks good for 200 hours. Again, we ripped the side from gripping the bike so much. We're tearing this up, cut a hole right in it. Little strip, buckles all work great. This is the only real broken piece for the boot. This is a hole straight to my, you know, Right in there, straight to my toe box. Yeah, pretty dirty. All right, so this happened because my right foot was, I guess, going for a dab, grabbed a big stump and caught this and literally almost ripped me off the bike. My foot, I was supermaning. You know, I was just holding on with the, my hands. I didn't fall off the bike, so it took it like a champ. My foot was fine. Uh, in that as well, this, as it... Um, pulled me off it dragged against my uh my peg as well and i had some nice bruising down the side of my leg but if i hadn't hadn't had these on i probably been really uh, a lot worse so no complaints in the protection department they're stiff boots they stay stiff and i love that um, i also love the protection you get the ankle support from the braces here on your little booty and these have held up pretty well. They're starting to delaminate a little bit. This one, you know, my right one's not so bad, but the left one, the whole toe box is kind of just falling off there. So I will probably clean that up pretty good and just re-glue it. It should be pretty good shape. Um, again, nothing broken on these. These straps held up well. And while we're on this subject of the booties, please uh, tell me you guys don't put this boot on and then put your, your foot in the boot and put the boot on. Stick these in there. Open them up, open your boot up, all the clamps, and just pull them apart and just stick your foot in there. There's no reason to be doing two steps. Just leave these in, put your foot in, works perfect. I've been using Alpine Stars, um, go back road racing, man, uh, probably 2006 or so with their, I think their Supertech R's. Yeah, they've had the booties, just leave them in. Makes your life so much easier. Don't be fumbling around with these things outside of the boots. I only take them out to clean them, to air them out, you know, anything like that. But otherwise they live inside my boots. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I did get um, a really good deal from a buddy at a dealer for a brand new set of these Tech 10s. So I have another set I will be breaking out soon. Um, but that's kind of the reason I made the video too is next time out, if I have to pay full price, I may have to drop down to a different brand or something. I mean, almost 700 bucks for boots and they last a year. And I don't usually put uh, a price on safety. So 
I'll probably <laughs> probably bite the bullet again, but I may just try someone else. I may go try a CD boot. I may try um, a Garnet. I don't know. I'm, I am sponsored by um, O'Neill, not free, just, you know, get discount. So I actually may try a set of their boots. They're, they're top of the line ones with the RDX, I think. And see how I like them because, you know, um, I'll, I'll race in my Alpine Stars, but for some practice or whatnot, I may try a different set of boots, uh, you know, a little cheaper. Um, but I don't know. What are your thoughts? What do you think uh, these Tech 10 should, how long should they last? You know, stuff like this. Uh, I haven't contacted Alpine Star to see if we can fix these. I may reach out to them. Uh, but again, this is not a complaint on these boots. They've held up great. They've taken a lot of abuse. Uh, I'd say, you know, pretty much majority of my riding, single track, rough, you know, roots and rocks and stuff like that. So it's not like these things live 200 hours on a motocross track. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.